this is how we're heading into 2019 good vibes got it hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is natalia and first things first today is december 31st and i cannot believe that it is the last day of the year like this this is insane 2018 flew by it was an amazing year um and i'm excited for 2019 like i said we're heading into 2019 with good vibes nothing else okay so get out of here with the negativity if you don't like it don't watch it don't subscribe don't do any of that because this is all we're about here, okay? Today's video may seem a little bit random, and that's because it is. Uh, I was inspired to do this video uh, actually last night when I got wrapped up in the new Netflix show, You, uh, which, fun fact, actually aired on Lifetime a little while ago, and I remember seeing the previews for it and wanting to watch it. I never did and now it's moved to Netflix and from what I've heard there will be a second season that will continue on Netflix so I thought about it and I thought about 2018 and how much Netflix I actually watched which was a lot and so if you guys binge watch Netflix then you know that there is a lot of amazing content on Netflix and so I figured why not share with you guys my favorite shows and a couple of movies that I watched and really enjoyed this year on Netflix. Let's just go ahead and get started. The first show being You, which I have not finished yet. So do not, do not leave any spoilers if you have finished it. But oh my God. You stars Penn Badgley, who if you guys watched Gossip Girl, I loved Gossip Girl, then you are familiar with him. He played Dan, who ended up being, spoiler alert, ended up being Gossip Girl, which was crazy. And now if I watch the series over, I feel like I can totally notice him as Gossip Girl, but whatever. Penn Badgley stars as Joe Goldberg in You, and basically it's just about him uh, meeting this girl, her name is Beck, he meets her and just like becomes obsessed with her and like follows her everywhere and it's really insanely creepy but so, so good. Like last night, I started it at probably like 10 o'clock last night and didn't fall asleep till like 2.30 in the morning just because I was watching that show. I got up to like episode 6 I think is where I left off and you better believe that after I'm done filming this and editing it, I'm gonna go right back to watching that till I have to get ready for tonight. So it is so good. I don't want to leave any spoilers or anything, but you guys should totally, totally check out you. It's it's so good. Next show is the most recent show that my boyfriend and I just finished, and that is Narcos Mexico. I have been a huge fan of Narcos all the seasons. We've watched all of them, and so when Narcos Mexico came out, I was super excited. I love Diego Luna, I love Michael Pena, and they definitely did not disappoint. Now, this one is a little bit different, or a lot different, than the regular Narco series because obviously that takes place in Colombia, and this one is going into Mexico and the drug cartels that rose to start them in Mexico. This one um, is different because it's a little bit slower paced because it's more of an origins story. Diego Luna plays Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo. I think is his whole name. I should have looked that up, but Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo, who is one of the biggest, you know, most known Mexican drug lords. I think he's the drug lord, hence why they started with him. And, uh, uh, it, it is a little bit slower paced so I have heard feedback from people that have watched it that have kind of fallen off after a couple of episodes they said it was a little bit too slow but let me tell you once you get to the end of the first season hmm hmm and what sucks about these Netflix shows is that you have to wait like a year for them to come out with the next season so sometimes for that reason if it's like a big show I'll purposely wait a little bit like to start the season just because I don't want to finish it too quick and then I have to wait a whole year like if you guys watch Stranger Things you know that we're coming up on like a year and a half I don't know what to do with myself another favorite of mine this year on Netflix was 13 reasons why season 2 which did premiere earlier this year and it was very very controversial I feel like 
this one was probably you know just as if not a little bit more controversial than the first season um, this one follows after you know Hannah Baker's suicide and this season I feel like was definitely a goodbye to that character the whole first season she's already dead and you're you know trying to figure out how she came to commit the suicide and by the end of the first season that already happened uh, so for the second season it's just the characters coping with everything and then you move on to different things that happen to different to the other supporting characters basically and so season two was definitely like a send-off to Hannah Baker and was very very controversial there was a scene that made its way around the internet and before I finished the season I saw you know what people said happened and it, it's definitely definitely very very graphic <laughs> and I don't agree with it but it is what it is like they're gonna do what they want to do they want to you know continue to raise the bar and just I guess be real in in a horrible way but it's the truth and so that show is definitely not for youngins young kids so you my young folks that watch my videos I wouldn't recommend that to you definitely definitely if you're like 18 and over I would say or at least like 16 and over where you're able to handle that kind of content because it does get pretty rough but it is something that I finished in like two days <laughs> I'm telling you guys like a lot of these shows I like wrap them up because it, I, I get involved I get very very like attached to the characters and the story and I want to see what happens next show is one of mine and Brian's favorites 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 and we started this in 2018 although it did not premiere in 2018 the second season I believe premiered this year and that is La Casa de Papel or you know if you're here in America and you see it on Netflix it'll show up as Money Heist oh my god that show is so good like it literally keeps you on the edge i feel like when you first think of it you're like how the hell can the whole show take place in a bank during a money heist but boy they show you how to drag out those few days and every every moment is just like oh and i love uh the fact that on Netflix is incorporating more international shows because there's so many good shows and movies that are made outside of the United States so it's really nice that we're getting to see more and more amazing content and La Casa de Papel is on it I cannot wait for season three they dropped the teaser trailer a little while ago and so it is gonna happen and I don't know like how it's gonna continue like if you guys have watched season two then you know you, you can probably agree with me like where are they gonna go from here are they gonna pick up a few years from now like what I, I don't know what they're gonna do but I am so excited now similarly to La Casa de Papel a new show or a newer show that premiered this year on Netflix is another Spanish like teen angsty drama and it's called Elite or Elite <laughs> and it does feature a few of the main characters from La Casa de Papel which is pretty cool um, getting to see their versatility and see them act with each other again in a different show which for me is always weird when I see actors do that because I always think back to like where I saw them first but Elite is so good it follows a few teens in Spain and just their lives like a lot of them are wealthy and then you have these three teens that ended up going to this private school because their school got burned down so they're clearly the outcasts and these wealthy kids do not let them forget it and there's a murder involved you don't know who died and uh, it is just like goodness just like like it's that guilty pleasure <laughs> that you need uh, if you're not feeling well I binge watched Elite when I had my wisdom teeth taken out a few weeks ago and literally finished the show like that. It's only like eight episodes too, which sucks. I hate when the shows are so short like that, but they got a lot done in the eight episodes and I'm very excited for season two. I don't know where this one is gonna go and I just think that if you like, you know, uh, those type of teen dramas, uh, which it, they handle lots of adult issues. It's not like it's all like kiddie stuff, at all by any means they do handle a lot of adult issues obviously there's a death there's you know drugs and like 
sex and all that crazy stuff but it's so so good like so good and you guys should watch it if you like like i said papel and you like the actors then you know if you want to see them in something else then check that out next we have a movie i really really enjoyed this movie and i've been meaning to watch it again because i watched it on uh my plane ride back from las vegas um and it is to all the boys i've loved before which they actually just dropped the news that there's going to be a sequel which is interesting to me because i don't know how that's gonna turn out at all everything i say i'm like i don't know what they're gonna do with it but they're gonna figure it out i'm sure and to all the boys i love before it's just so cute if you're looking for a cute like girly chick flick teen film like just something that's like a little bit of a throwback to like like the the movies that i grew up watching uh, then I think that you'll really enjoy To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Uh, it is uh, based off of a book of the same title. I do want to read the book at some point, but I do think that if you're like having a girls' night or having a sleepover or anything and you just want to watch a cute movie, I think that is definitely a good choice. And um, the main guy, Noah centennial sent something like that Ugh, i hope i didn't butcher his name but that guy the main guy he is so adorable and you know the characters are just uh i think easy to love and care for and i just think that it's a really cute movie so if you're looking for something cute for a girl's night to all the boys i loved before similarly to that movie is another one that wasn't as well received when i like looked it up afterwards but i really enjoyed it and it's sierra burgess is a loser and the main character of that is actually barb from stranger things which is really cool to see her again because you only saw her a little bit in stranger things sierra burgess is a loser it's basically about this girl sierra burgess that you know she's you know kind of like nerdy and you know a little overweight which was like think what people mainly had a problem with is that you always have like the overweight nerdy girl be the loser character which i totally understand uh but she comes out winning in this movie she pretends to be someone else while she's talking to noah centeno again he's the main character in this movie too it's just i don't know i thought it was a cute movie at the end that turned out to be a feel-good movie uh, and I think it's another one of those like chick flick girly girls night type of things So if you're looking for another movie like that or a double feature kind of thing I think that that's another good choice another show that I love that surprised me that I binge watched on a six-hour flight to when I went to LA earlier this year for my birthday oh my god I binge watched on my block and I think I think I talked a little bit about it like in a favorites video or something like that but you guys like this show completely surprised me it was so cute but that ending though like mmm that ending it is basically about four teens four four yeah four or five teens like five four or five kids that live in you know LA and they are just going through life growing up as teens and you know the hard life living you know in maybe a poor neighborhood dealing with gangs and violence and all that stuff and falling in love and all this craziness i i just thought that it was so cute and i'm so happy that they're gonna come back for a second season i know the show also had a lot of controversy because uh some of the characters or at least one of the characters that is latina she is not latina and she caused some controversy because of some comments that she's made in the past but i honestly try not to look at any of that and just try to absorb the body of work in front of me which is the show the show did so many things well that i was able to put that aside i do agree that you know latino and latina actors do need to be represented and if there's a latino role it should be played by a latino it's not like there aren't latino actors out there but i really really love the show um again the ending was just ugh, a cliffhanger and i'm very very excited to see what they do with season two the next show is one that i don't remember if a new season came out this year i think actually no i think i'm lying a new season did come out this year but it is black mirror and oh my god black mirror that show creeps me the hell out honestly because 
the the best way that I can summarize that show is it shows the potential of technology and what could happen if technology took over the world and got the best of us. The great thing about that show is that every episode is different. So you can literally start anywhere, any season, any episode, pretty much like, you know, all the actors are different, the stories are different, everything is different. It's just so creepy, like it's, it's so creepy. And they did just release, um, I think it's called Bender Snatched or something like that. It's an interactive Black Mirror movie, I have not watch that yet i've heard nothing but good things so far it's like interactive where you choose what you want the characters to do which is insane because that means that pretty much everyone gets a different ending of some sort so we'll see what happens with that but i really really do like black bear also one thing oh my god i can't so i'm filming this video on december 31st right it'll be up today and i have not watched bird box yet and I don't know if I want to watch Bird Box. Like, I feel like everyone on Twitter has just been blowing up that movie so much that I don't even, like, am I even gonna, like, enjoy it or just compare it to what people have said about it? Like, I love Sandra Bullock, so I'm probably gonna watch it, but I don't know. Like, it's just been so overhyped. You know when, like, something's so overhyped and then by the time you get to it, you're like, meh, like, meh. So I'm afraid that I'm gonna feel that way, but... I don't know. Last show is something that is totally not a Netflix original and you're probably gonna be like, what, really? But it's my favorite show of all time, ever, and that's Friends. I love Friends. And yes, I was a part of the petition on Twitter to get Netflix to not remove Friends because I don't know if you heard, but a few weeks back, Netflix, um, sometimes, you know, like when shows are going away on Netflix, it'll say available until and then a date. And so it was supposed to go away tomorrow, January 1st. And me and everyone else were like, uh, no, Netflix, what do you think you're doing? I need my friends, okay? I'm that person, listen, I'm that person that if I'm, let's say, having trouble falling asleep or I'm bored, I don't know what to put on. I can watch Friends, and I've seen every episode a hundred thousand times. I have, let me tell you, I have all the DVDs. <laughs> and you're probably like, why the hell do you need it on Netflix? Because I do. I don't own a DVD player anymore. So I need it on Netflix where I can watch it like this if I want to. And Netflix did something crazy, like pay a hundred million dollars to, I think, Warner Bros to keep the show on, which yes, is insane and we probably could have gotten a lot of new content for that price. But look, like, I need friends, okay? And when my real friends aren't around, friends' friends are around, so I'm sorry. Like, I, I just, that's my favorite show ever. I've loved it since I was young, and I was very, very sad when I heard that they were gonna take it away, and I, I couldn't let them do that. Like. I cut it. So that's pretty much it guys. Let me know if you enjoyed listening to my Netflix favorites. If you guys want me to do this on like a periodic basis, then let me know. I figure like, you know, Netflix is something that most people enjoy, most people are subscribed to, so why not share what I've been watching and what I've been enjoying. So again, this is the last video of 2018. I can't believe it. Thank you guys for an amazing, amazing year. Like you guys. Oh, like you guys honestly are the best. I cannot thank you enough this year. We hit 10,000 subscribers. Obviously now more than that, but hitting 10,000 subscribers was a huge milestone and a huge goal for me. And next is 20K, like I'm coming for you. So thank you guys for all of the love that you guys have given me. Let me know what you guys wanna see next on my channel. And that's that. I hope that you guys have an amazing, happy, and safe new year, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.